The land expectation value, or LEV, represents the value of an acre of bare land used for perpetual timber production. It captures the long-term potential of the land, considering the net future value, or NFV, of each timber rotation cycle. In simpler terms, it's the value of the land when its primary use is for timber production. Unlike most real estate investments which generate income annually, timber land produces returns over several years. LEV helps us evaluate the profitability of these multi-year cycles in a systematic way. To calculate the LEV, we divide the NFV of one timber rotation by the factor 1 plus r to the power of n minus 1. In this formula, r represents the required rate of return and n is the length of one timber rotation in years. This formula allows us to estimate the perpetual value of timberland, treating returns as periodic annuities. Let's break down how we arrive at the LEV formula. We start with the present value of a series of cash flows from timber rotations, represented as PV. This is calculated by summing up the periodic payments, PMT, discounted by the required rate of return, R, for each year of the rotation cycle. Since this is a geometric series, we can simplify it. The present value formula for a finite annuity gives us PMT divided by R, and we multiply by 1 minus 1 over 1 plus R to the power of N. Next, we divide both sides by 1 minus 1 over 1 plus r to the power of n. So on the right-hand side, we have PMT over r, which is the PV of a perpetuity. Now, to remove the fraction in the denominator, we multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 plus r to the power of n. That simplifies to PV times 1 plus r to the power of n divided by 1 plus r to the power of n minus 1. Finally, recognizing that net future value or NFV is equals to PV times 1 plus R power N, we arrive at the LEV formula. And again, note that PMT divided by R is the present value of a perpetuity. Let's look at this example of a private investment firm that owns a 2,000 acre hardwood plantation with a 30 year timber rotation plan and a required rate of return of 4%. So you could think of this as a high-value hardwood plantation where they could be growing thick mahogany or oak. And in the table, we have uh, the revenues and expenses. So in 15 years, there would be a thinning. Okay, so usually there could be one or two uh, rounds of thinning. Okay, could be up to three. Uh, but for simplicity, we'll just assume there's one. So thinning means that they will remove smaller trees that, are, that will be sold as pulpwood or low-grade timber. The thinning revenue is $1,500 US dollars per acre. Then in 30 years, uh, which is the final harvest, uh, the revenue would be $15,000 US dollars per acre. And final harvest is where they would sell the large high quality locks for premium users like furniture and flooring. In the expenses, so we have site preparation and planting at year zero. So this includes clearing, soil preparation and seedlings. So that would be $800 US dollars per acre. Then in year one, there is weed control and fertilizer. So this is to ensure there is healthy early growth. The expense is 120 US dollars per acre. And for the annual management fee from year one to year 30, that's 35 dollars per acre. So this covers monitoring, pest control, pruning, and general upkeep. So we want to calculate the LEV or the land expectation value for this plantation, okay, on a per acre basis. Right, so for each of these items, we are going to calculate the PV in US dollar per acre, and then we will, we will net the revenue against the expenses to get the PV of the timber rotation plan. So using the discount rate of 4%, uh, we would then discount the revenue first. So for the thinning revenue, uh, which is in year 15, okay, that's 1,500 US dollars per acre. So what we're going to do is we'll just take 1,500, okay, we will divide it by 1.04 to the power of 15. So that gives us uh, 832. Then for the final harvest revenue, which is in year 30, so we'll take $15,000 per acre, divide by 1.04 to the power of 30. Okay, so that will give us uh, 4,624.78. Then for site preparation and planting is at year zero, so there's no need to discount it, it will be 800. 
For the expenses in year one for weed control and fertilizer, we'll have to discount 120 by 4% uh, for one year. So that's 120 divided by 1.04. So that would be 115.38. And finally, for management fee, this is an annuity for 30 years. So we'll use a TVM in the calculator. So in this case, your N is 30. So that's 30 years, 30 payments. Uh, the management fee is 35. That's PMT. The IY will be your discount rate, which is 4%. Uh, your FV will be zero. There's zero future value in year 30. Then we compute the PV, so that would be 605.22. Finally, we add up the revenue. Okay, we add up the expenses and then we net it off. So beginning with the thinning revenue, so that's 832.9. I'll add it to 4624.78. Then I would minus uh, the site preparation, or uh, minus weed control, and as well as the management fees. Okay, all in PV terms. So we'll get 3,937.08. Okay, so that's the sort of like the NPV of the timber rotation plan for a 30-year cycle. Next, uh, we are going to calculate the LAV. And before we get to that, we need the NFV, the net future value. So we will take the PV of the timber rotation plan. We multiply by 1 plus R, 4%, and raise it to the power of 30 for 30 years. And then we divide it by 1.04 to the power of 30 minus 1. So this would be 3937.08 times 1.04 power 30. And then we'll divide it by bracket 1.04 power 30 minus 1 close bracket. Again, we get 5692.04 and that is on a per acre basis. So this is the LEV of this plantation per acre. And of course, if the LEV is positive, that means it's, it's profitable. Okay, the PV of the revenue is greater than the PV of the expenses. Okay, and this is assuming that you are running this on a perpetual basis.